because every time I put a little hair clip in her hair, it would fall out almost immediately. There with you, bro. Yeah. What were you sending her out looking like? Uh, she used to wear a lot of hats. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my husband feels like probably right now. When we first met Philip Morgies of the Daddy Daughter Hair Factory a few years ago, he was so excited about bringing his daddy hairstyling classes worldwide. But now the local dad who is responsible for helping to strengthen daddy daughter bonds everywhere needs a little help to get results and keep it all going. New 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona just met with Philip and Emma. And Carolina, what needs to be done? Well, just a few little things, Candon and Kirsten, and as part of the classes that he teaches, Philip wants to be able to continue to hand out kits that contain specific items for dads interested in learning how to do their little girl's hair. Well, right now he's hoping that his story will inspire someone who will join him on his venture. I remember one day venting on my Facebook feed about, I'm like, this is so frustrating, I just want to cut it. And Emma was at that tangled stage when Tangled was out, where she didn't, she wouldn't let me touch her hair. It was a daily struggle with messy hair days for Philip Morghese and his daughter Emma, until a friend suggested he take a different approach, braiding her hair before bedtime. I remember watching the video, you know, figuring out the braid. It looked like a total mess, but it worked. The following morning, let the braid out, hair just easily detangled, she was ready for her day. He soon realized this new knowledge could help other dads. That's how Daddy Daughter Hair Factory was born, a nonprofit organization that helps dads build a healthy relationship with their little girls. There are classes offered all over the country for dads who want to learn how to do their daughter's hair. As part of those classes, dads get kits that include brushes, combs, hair detangler, among other items. The problem is, the organization used to have a sponsor, and now it's looking for a new one so it can continue to provide this service. We need somebody to help us put together kits that we can sell to the libraries and, and continue growing the class. We're not looking for handouts or donations. Quite frankly, we just need somebody who already has a brand that's established that can help us. Now, if you're a dad out there watching, here's a few tips on how to make a braid. Right. One of our photographers got a quick <laughs> lesson. Bring, bring that outside, the right side. Oh, just the middle, just the middle. Philip says the best part about this experience is a connection he says will go well beyond their childhood. This gives the father unique time with his daughter, uh, which is ideal. This will, you know, build build up her confidence. This will help her understand, you know, how a man should be in her life. You know, they they look at the father as like always being there, always being loving and caring. And when they grow up with that kind of confidence, it's a beautiful thing. And I look forward to that for Emma. I want her to grow up and have that strength. And we are sure Emma is going to learn a lot of that from her daddy. Philip says each class is for up to 12 dads, and essentially he would like to make those kits available to each one. Once again, he says his mission is truly more about nurturing the relationship between daddy and daughter than knowing how to do their hair. He tells me the company's motto is bond before braids. Oh, I'm going to cry. I know. I'm tearing up. <laughs> I, I love what he said about how you need that example in your life as it a young really, girl. Yeah. Yes, that father figure really makes a difference in a in a woman's life. It, it goes a long way, definitely. That's, that's quality time. That is and absolute quality time. I just want to say thank you to Becca, um, little four-year-old Becca, Justin's daughter, our <laughs> photographer, who helped us out for this story. She was adorable. So very, very sweet little girl. And, the and very well behaved. Oh, very. That's <laughs> It's Potter's kids. He has four girls. The one that you saw, he was the one in the hat. He's her photographer. Yeah. And he has four little girls, and they have a big, big head of hair. Yeah. Big so that class definitely will come in handy for Justin. I'm pretty sure his wife is happy now that he learned. <laughs> Absolutely. And of course, we can get all that information on ClickOrlando.com. How to make, how to, how to uh, donate, and how to get results for him. Because That's you can right. tell he's really trying to make a difference for many da daddy daughters out there. Oh, thanks, Carolina. Thank you so much.